then with the management of CG Consumer, Shantanu Khosla is the managing director who now joins us on the show. Thank you so much for taking time out. Let's talk about earnings where your margins have declined and that's largely on the back of the commodity cross pressures. The fall though has been a little bit lower than what the street was explain, uh, expecting. Can you explain to us what have been the cost saving initiatives undertaken and what is the outlook on your margins? Yeah, uh, actually we believe our margins have held up uh, pretty well given the extreme uh, commodity inflationary pressure and uh, competitively done better than uh, most of our peers. Really, we have consistently looked at a three-pronged strategy to uh, address inflation. The first is an ongoing, very uh, committed cost-saving project, which we've now been running for quite a few years. And obviously, we've just ramped that up. And in fact, in quarter four, we uh, saved about 68 crores just through that program. Second is a continuing program on driving our mix, driving our mix across the line from mid-price fans to more premium price fans where our innovation is focused. And finally, of course, uh, given the extent of the cost increase is uh, selective pricing, which uh, we have done and all our competitors have also done. How would you rate the demand environment for us? Because we are getting mixed, I wouldn't say mixed actually, I would say confusing signals. There are categories which are doing very well. There are some categories where the pressure because of urban demand or high inflation is visible. Well, if I look at the quarter just passed, uh, the one we declared results for January, February, March, it was uh, really, what happened was, if you recall, though it seems far away, January we were impacted and demand was impacted due Omicron because of the extent of infections which happened. However, as we move forward into February and March, uh, business recovered very well and we had strong double-digit growth over that period. So going into the summer, uh, clearly demand was strong. As we've moved into this quarter, April, May, June, demand stays reasonably robust. I would, however, caveat that is uh, demand is really robust if you and continues to be robust if you look at it in uh, revenue terms. That being said, given the extent of pricing which has been taken, I mean, we took about 15% pricing over the last 12 months, including one more round of pricing in April, and so has most of the industry. Yes, that has had an impact on volume growth and. Uh, as long as the inflation stays with us and uh, pricing keeps moving up, I do expect volume growth to be relatively soft, but uh, in revenue terms, it would be robust. Uh, so let's understand the breakup. When you say revenue, it's a 2% uptick year on year. The numbers are there in front of me. Uh, yeah. Out of that 2%, how much would you say is a function of price hike and how much is a function of uh, volume? Well, uh, I wouldn't look at the 2% because the 2% includes the month of January where uh, sales are dramatically impacted because of Omicron. If we either look at it on a full fiscal basis where our revenue growth was 13% or we look at it on a Feb-March basis where our revenue growth was 12%, Roughly speaking, you know, because it's an average of averages, this is primarily value-led growth. So uh, volume growth would be low single digits and uh, the rest would be revenue growth. One thing that I want to talk about also um, is the butterfly acquisition. You know, the market has been talking about it. Help us understand how the synergies and the integration process is panning out. And, you know, when is it that you see the actual accruals reflecting on your books? Well, uh, we are obviously very pleased with the butterfly acquisition. We think strategically it is a wonderful acquisition because it immediately makes us as a group a significant player in the fast-growing and potential small domestic appliance uh, business where Butterfly is a really strong brand. Now, this uh, deal where we acquired 55% of uh, Butterfly stock was actually only closed in on the 30th of March. 
So the first numbers from will get really only consolidated from this quarter onwards. Uh, now, up till now, we are extremely pleased with our progress uh, on Butterfly. The, uh, the business opportunities, both in terms of the revenue synergies and the cost synergies, we are obviously beginning to work on, but clearly we can see a path which, uh, at the very least, meets our original expectations as we move forward. We've also begun to build capability and uh, put people into the organization to help ramp up the overall organizational capability of Butterfly. Finally, most encouragingly in these early days of uh, operation, we have continuously been sensing and running sensing surveys among the existing Butterfly employees and we are getting very, very positive responses from them. They all see the value, both for the business and themselves as individuals in the growth which this uh, partnership can bring. We've also uh, obviously uh, begun the open offer, uh, which we are required to do for uh, a stake of up to 26% more additional. This closes on June the 3rd, but operationally, uh, we are very happy with the progress, though, so, to be fair, it's early days. It's, we're only sort of six weeks into it. Sure. Mr. Khosla, great to have you on the show, and thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking with us today on ET Now. Thank you. Take care. Okay. In the meantime, ONGC also...